Let's get ready to rumble! Hey, looks like you're training with me after all. Hey, look, to be honest, I'm really, really happy that you chose me and you clicked this video, but you better be doing this workout. I mean, seriously, if you click the video and it's playing right now, you just secretly signed a contract that you will do this workout. But I do want to dedicate this workout to all the clients at La Jolla Crossroads that I cannot see right now. You know who you are. I want to dedicate this video to everyone at the La Jolla Crossroads who is missing their luxurious gym. And I also want to say hello and dedicate this video to my 90.3 followers. Don't forget to chime in, tune in, listen in, whatever you want to call it. Every Thursday morning, 8 a.m., Morton in the morning, 90.3. All right, let's not keep you waiting too much longer and let's get this workout going. So we're gonna start by doing a one-legged leg swing. This can be a little bit tough because as you'll see, we're gonna be a little more stable on one side of the body. My guess is my, my left leg will be able to stabilize my right better than the other way. So here we go, one, two, and three. Let's raise the right leg. Let's lift the chest, pull the shoulders, flex the glute, and let's just go ahead and get this thing going. So I want you to put on your favorite music. Good. And just have a good time on this workout. Let's chat a little bit as we're doing it. In terms of, uh, I'm gonna talk to you like I normally do. If you train with me, you know what I mean. There we go. But remember, when you're doing a one-legged swing from side to side like this, you wanna make sure, at least on this version, we have our foot pointed up. We wanna make sure that we're flexing the glute and using that to stabilize. We also, and this is the trick part, want to make sure that this foot is actually going past the other foot. So this side actually has to do a lot of stability. So let's do two more. One and two. Perfect. Okay, let's move on to the other leg. Let's see what we've got on this side. So I'm going to squeeze the glutes, get ready for stability, shoulders back, and here we go. Good one. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a little bit harder for me. I don't know about you. Nice. So if you're liking these workouts and you've been doing them, you know, I would really like for you to comment below, write some posts, <laughs> write some, you know, web posts. No, uh, you know, just leave a little bit of feedback. Let me know you're there. Let me know you're liking these videos and I will keep them coming, okay? Here we go, last five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead. If you have a medicine ball, a milk jug, if you have uh, anything weighted, let's use that. But we're going to go to a nice little transverse twist. So, we'll have a seat on our mat. Uh, let's go ahead and lift up our chest. Let's flex the feet up, get the glutes tight. And what we're going to try to do is keep the shoulders back and go all the way to the side like that. And in this exercise, you want to feel your core still remaining tight and active as you're doing your twist. There you go. Good. Oh. Nice. So it's been super interesting on quarantine because obviously we've had a little more time at home, but I've had a lot of, of fun working on projects at my house. So um, if you want to see some things that I've built at my house, or at least the biggest thing i built, go ahead and reach out to me. Uh, I'll send you some pictures. It's huge. Ugh. Good. Let's do five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, let's relax. All right, so we're gonna go right into some push-ups. So when we set up the push-ups, let's go ahead and put our arms out, pop the hips, shoulder blades back, and let's go ahead and get ready for a nice set. I like to lean into my heels. I like to position the hands outside the shoulder girdle. Drop into the shoulders, feel the abs tight. Get the hips out and go. Here we go. Just open the chest. Look for symmetry in your push. There you go. Let's breathe out on the way up and on the way down. That was really good. Now, we're gonna be doing two more rounds of what we just did. If you, uh, if you don't have a ball, don't worry. You can just use your hands out. 
you don't, if you can't do full push-ups, just do them on your knees. Okay, let's go back to our one-legged leg swing. Let's go ahead and position our posture. Let's get our body how we want it to look. Get our shoulders back, tighten the core. And let's go ahead and let's bring our leg behind the body this time. Sometimes this can be a little bit more challenging. Good. Now, hopefully, you've taken the time to work on other parts of your fitness, right? So, whenever you're in a scenario where you can't work out as much, you gotta do, I better stop talking now. You gotta do what you can to do whatever workouts that you can, but you also have to kind of realize that working out is only one part of fitness, right? The other part of fitness is nutrition, getting good sleep, you know, and switch sides. You know, uh, just kind of relaxing, putting your body in a, in a stress-free environment, and just giving yourself enough hydration, you know, back to kind of nutrition, right? So don't just uh, tell yourself, hey, uh, let's get that other side, I don't know, stall. You know, let's not just use the excuse of, hey, we're on quarantine, um, you know, let it go, right? Because that's easy to do, but I always like to put myself in a scenario where I'm saying, hey, look, it's, it's a good time to kind of stand up, stand up, kind of not against the crowd, but stand up and don't just take the easy option just because everybody else is doing that, right? Enjoy yourself, relax, but whenever you're getting sick, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Whenever you're trying to avoid getting sick, the last thing you want to do is fill yourself up with things that have a lot of toxins in them. Anyways, let's go ahead and grab that ball and get that transverse. Uh, you know, you don't want to, you know, get less sleep. You don't want to put your body in a stressed out environment. All right, let's get that transverse twist. And action. So it seems though, staying at home and things like that is definitely the best thing to do. But when we're there, we don't make some really good decisions like doing these home workouts, you know, we could put ourselves in a very, very vulnerable state where our body is extra stressed, fighting extra toxins. And then here we go, we gotta fight this other virus, right? So I'm no doctor, I'm not trying to give you medical advice, but definitely wanna say these workouts help flush things out of your body. Even a body weight one like this, you know, we benefit an incredibly large amount. You gotta remember, that's what that walk is all about, right? When people say, hey, go out for that walk after dinner, that's just so that you can use your stomach, flex your, you know, your body, and just get everything pumping and moving and just digest that food easier and get the nutrients from it. So you can do that with these workouts. And relax, perfect. All right, let's get those, the second round of those push-ups in. All right, so I, I showed you how to set up in the kneeling position. Now we can do it from down here. Flex the feet, pull the shoulders back. I like to find that good position here. We'll go up where we want to be. Let's jump right into round three. All right, here we go, here we go. So let's start with our left leg out, and we can go forward or back. I'm gonna go forward with this one. I'm gonna point the toe up, chest out, shoulders back, and go out. So yeah, take this time, and you know, maybe reach out to your trainer, or whoever you were training with before, whoever you, you know, you look up to in the fitness world. You know, I don't know who that is, but, the, you know, and maybe get a diet right now. You know, um, may benefit you. Start dieting right now. We do have summer coming up, and you know, we're gonna be a little more. <laughs> no, you know, you know what I'm saying. We just came from Christmas, right? Ah, let's go to switch sides. So, yeah, I've been really trying to watch my food. You know, that's one thing I've been really doing well. I've also been trying to just stay incredibly busy. Okay. All right. Let's pop the hips up, shoulder blades out, and hit the other side. So, you know, life has a way, right, of throwing these curveballs at us. You know, one minute, we're going, you know, forward as fast as possible, everything's going well, next thing you know, everything changes, right? But, 
Just because things change doesn't mean things are bad, okay? And what I'm saying is sometimes time away from something allows more time for something else. So use this time wisely. That's all I got to say. That's three, two, one. And relax, very nice. All right, let's grab. All right, let's grab our ball or whatever we're using for our weight and get ready for our twist. So, chest out, shoulder blades back, and action. So myself, I don't, a lot of you may know, maybe some of you don't, that I actually own a solar company in town called Incentive Solar, and I actually do real estate. So, it's, you know, it's kind of a bummer that, you know, I can't really be in the gym as much, but, you know, as I'm sitting in my house going, man, I can't go to the gym. My phone's ringing. More solar, more real estate. You know, and by no means is that me bragging, but what it is is me saying that, like, there's always somewhere to spend your energy, right? Never should you decide that something or someone is going to stop you from doing your progressions. Now, your progressions may need to shift. Last five, four, three, two, one and left. But hey, time's gonna pass anyways. So maybe you weren't gonna get that diet, but maybe now's a good time, right? All right, let's get that next round of push-ups. On three, one, two, and three. Let's set up in an upper position. We'll lean back into the heels. Hands are wider than the girdle. We wanna make sure that we pop the hip, pull the shoulder blades back, and action. Yep. Uh. <sighs> Woo! Man, that was awesome. So that's our third round of our first circuit. We're gonna jump right into that next circuit. So the next circuit is gonna have step ups, it's gonna have reverse snow angels, and it's also gonna have a bent knee little lower body transverse twist. So, gonna really loosen up. If you've had some low back pain, maybe watching a lot more TV or sitting more than normal, so it'll help loosen you up. Um, so I'm lucky, I have a bench today that I'm gonna use as a step up. Um, if you don't have that, you can use a chair. Uh, just use just about anything that you have that's a little bit more stable, okay? Can you go ahead and grab that real quick? <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna get started with round one of our second circuit. So these are one of my favorites. Uh, you know, we don't do a lot of exercises where we bring our knee above our hip or even really past 90 degrees ever. So, uh, you know, watch yourself if you have knee pain, but other than that, make sure that every time you step up, you put your foot down and I want you to really pull your hip back. Kind of consider this like you're winding up your hips. You're gonna wind them up just to boof, flex them right back down like that, okay? So here we are, we're in the upper position. Let's re-engage the shoulders. We're gonna go right back down. Now when we go back down, our hip is gonna naturally kind of pop back out where it was. Let's re-engage it, boom, pop it up. That's two. We're gonna do one leg at a time. You know, I find it a lot easier as a trainer to help, you know, make sure that we utilize the whole body, that one side, get fired, get active, go to the other side. We don't have to trick the body, but we can alternate as well. So here we go. Round one, and begin. Pop, boom. Rush to get in, bring it back. Good. Rush to get in, there you go. Good. And three. So the goal is, again, to make sure you kind of pop it in before you make it to the top. Pop it out a little bit before you make it down as well. All right, let's go and do one more. Perfect, okay. We're gonna switch sides. There's always the other side. Again, you're gonna find anytime we're dealing with one side of the body, we're always going to be just a little bit more stable, at least while you're working up to that full stability. No. Uh, just like that, right? Lots and bounce. So wind it, push it in. Wind it, push it in. Something that really helps me is when I exercise, I try to imagine that, you know, 
I'm actually presenting my exercise. <laughs> I guess I am. <laughs> but the more that you think that others are watching, not so much judgment, but just that you're showing them, yeah, here's how you do the exercise, the more you find yourself having a better posture, you know? Truth is, a lot of us are watching, and really we're watching because we're looking for good examples, right? Especially at the gym. It's a great place to kind of look around and basically see people working out the way that you want to. Good. All right, <laughs> relax. We're gonna jump down and go into our lower body transverse twist. This is a bent knee twist, so we're gonna lay on our back, pull the shoulder blades back, and put the arms right out to the side. Trying to keep our shoulder blades back and our feet pointed up. We're gonna let the body just naturally relax. Don't force your legs down, just let your body find that good, comfortable twisting position. There we go. Nice. Keeping your shoulder blades engaged. These are just things your body likes to do. And remember, twisting motions are where the body gets injured the most. So, you know, when we're at the airport, we're pulling bags out of our car, bending down to grab a pen. These are all really very strange places where people throw their backs out, and really, really bad. And it happens quite frequently, and it's just because all the muscles in the body are bent, and then we're twisting at the same time while it, you know, exerting force. So you'll find that some of the strongest bodies can hardly twist because they can't relax those lower abdominal muscles. So it's really good to keep exercises like this in your mix. Perfect. All right, so another really cool exercise that just kind of works overall form and technique is gonna be a reverse snow angel. I don't know if you've ever done a snow angel laying on your back, you know, coming out like that. We're essentially gonna do the same thing. We're gonna lay face down. I'm gonna come out here like this. I'm gonna point the feet, sink back into it, lift the shoulders, flex into the abs, lift the hips, and we're just gonna go all the way out, just like that. Very nice. Last four. Really try to stretch your arms out. If you've been doing my home workouts, you saw a standing version of this. And I think number two or number three. Ugh. Still very difficult. All right. All right, so those are the next three exercises. We're gonna go ahead and get that thing going again. So let's go into our step ups for round two. All right, boom. Let's go ahead and make sure that we do wind the hip back up, shoulder blades are back, and we snap it right into location. One, two, three, four, there we go. Five, six, seven, Go ahead and hit that other leg. Here comes trouble. have to really make the hip move. It doesn't want to necessarily do everything naturally, and that's what working out is for, right? It's to train the body when to put weight, when to put load, and in what position. Good, last two, here we go. Last one, and two. Very, very good job. Woo, you gotta love that. Okay, we're gonna go back down into that transverse twist. Let's go ahead, lay down, bend the knees, we get the arms up, pull the shoulder blades back, make sure we have the abs tight, everything is down. Here we go, and here we go, one, two, three, four. 
It really helps, again, to loosen up that lower back. It uh, can feel really tight. Just, you know, even if you've been doing things that you don't normally do, like you've been going on way more walks, right? Because you have been, you know, running out of things to do. Using certain muscles in the back more than normal uh, definitely can cause that. So the body connects in a really unique way. So it doesn't just, you know, snap together as much as it seems like it does. So all these little parts and little tension spots, in which case we are working them right now. Okay, let's go three. Get those shoulder blades, two, one, and relax. Excellent. All right, we'll go face down. All right, again, another exercise where we want to get our shoulder blades back. We'll drop down. Okay, and action. All the way out. The shoulders really love this stretch. Be careful, you know, how much tension you put on your back, right? And make sure it feels comfortable. step up, let's get going. Let's not lose our energy, and let's go and start with our other leg this time. So we'll cock it back, and boom, snap it. <sighs> oh, nothing, nothing better than a good workout, right? Get your body sweating, get everything going. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the other side. Finish strong, everybody, finish strong but always work at your own pace as well. So let's check it out. Shoulder blades back, let's pop the hips, and go on and do it. Take advantage of this opportunity to really squeeze that glute muscle down here. There you go. Come on, you got it. Come on, squeeze it, squeeze it. Let's get pumped up in this thing. This workout is not over. Woo! Come on. Keep it going, good attitude. <sighs> there we go. Last five on this leg. Good four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Okay. Going down for our transverse twist. I'm gonna bend the knees. We're gonna make sure we have our abs tight. We'll pull the shoulder blades down. And here we go. It's a real natural motion. We're not forcing this guy down. We're not jamming the knees into the ground. We're just letting the body relax and then catch it. Last three, two, one, and relax. All right, Whew, here we go. We're going into our last reverse snow angle. Drop down, we'll go ahead and make sure that we have the body nice and tight to start with before we flex and pop the hips, and then here we go.
relax. Wow, that felt good. All right, we're gonna be jumping right into round three. I hope you're ready. All right, so, so now would be a good time if you have a stability ball to go ahead and grab that now. Uh, otherwise, you could use actually paper plates and you put your heels on the plates and just kind of bend your knees and press your hips up. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna use the stability ball. And how this exercise works is we are gonna throw our feet on top of the green ball or whatever ball you have. We're gonna pull the shoulder blades back. We're gonna go ahead and make sure we have a good natural arch. We'll flex the glutes and then we're gonna go drive the body up. Now when we're up here, we wanna make sure we exhale, draw the abs in, and then we're gonna go ahead and bring everything right back down and try to find that really good neutral position that we started in, okay? So it's okay if we have to adjust our back while we're doing it. I'd rather have you do that than do it wrong. So let's go ahead and remember to pull the shoulder blades back, find the arch, we'll drive everything up and get these hips up in the air. Good, feel the glutes tight and down we go. Good, now remember if you do not have a ball, you can just put your feet down and just do a floor bridge at this moment or you could put paper plates under your heels and just slide them on the carpet of your house or the floors of your house and raise your hips up like this. So you should be trying to feel this as much as you can in the hamstring muscles and oh you will. It's a really good way to kind of work that part of the body, that tension marker, while also using just very minimal to no weight. But do make sure you feel your glutes tight. We don't want to lose stability in those good areas. And relax. Perfect. Okay. We are now, don't get up. <laughs> we are now gonna go into a side plank with a leg swing. So, to do that, we're gonna go ahead and just position our body like a regular side plank, and then we're just gonna go back and forth. So again, try to get your foot in front and back of the, the hip. There you go. Perfect, okay, let's go ahead and switch sides. All right, when we switch sides, let's make sure we Feel again, good tension markers in our body. Feel our abs tight. We'll raise everything up and action. And relax. It's a really good exercise. All right, the third exercise is awesome. It's gonna hit the middle of our shoulders. We're gonna go and be doing a medial raise. Now, if you don't have a cable or a band, or you don't have uh, you know anything you can use as weight, you can go ahead and use like a water bottle, a wine bottle, the heaviest, you know, the heaviest thing you can have, sorry, the heaviest thing that you can lift up to the side. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use a band, okay? So I'm going to use a band for this one, and here we go. So we'll put the right foot down, we're going to go ahead and make sure we pop the hip, pull the shoulders back, and out to the side. One, two, hit both shoulders at the same time, there we go. Now don't worry about hitting that other leg until we get to that third, our second and third circuit, we can alternate these. Very good. Put that to the side, and then we're gonna go ahead and just jump right back into that nice hamstring leg curl. All right, let's get ready for round two of the hamstring leg curl. So again, we're gonna lay down on our back. We're gonna have the, the toes pointed up, arms up in the air. Let's go ahead and pull those shoulder blades back, and let's do it. Thank you. 
and relax. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and start doing our side plank. So we're gonna go ahead and get into our side plank position. Let's go ahead and make sure we pop the hip, squeeze the shoulder blades back, feel the upper abs still on, and then here we go. One. Now, if you can't move your leg, you can just hold your body up in a regular side plank. Two, one, and relax. Very nice. All right, we got our shoulder blades back, hips pop, glutes tight, and here we go. Make sure to still breathe on this one. There you go. Last four, three, two, one, and relax. Excellent job. All right, let's go ahead and grab our band, our, our cans that we stocked up on for the coronavirus, anything that we can to do these medial raises. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the left leg out now if we use our band. And uh, the green band is enough for an exercise like this. Uh, if you can go bigger, go for it. Let's make it happen. All right, here we go. Let's pull the shoulder blades back, pop that hip, and action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That feels really good. Whew. All right, let's do it. It's officially the last round of our third circuit. We've done so good, let's keep it up, let's keep it up. All right, so, we're going back down on the green ball, toes pointed, glutes active, shoulder blades in a neutral back position, and let's do it. Good, make sure we don't lose our good position on our first couple of reps. Good. Sometimes the ball can get jacked up. I'll set it once and I'll say it again. Your last set should be as good as your first set. So don't think because you've done so well you can slack. This is the time to really train yourself. That no matter how much we've already done, we go hard until it's done. And it is almost done. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Side plank. We're gonna get everything nice and tight. Feeling good, and let's kick that leg. Good one. Hang with me. Come on, hang with me. Let's finish this thing. Three, two, one. And relax. All right, here we go. We're on to our third and final set of the medial raises, and it is the Bodhi way. To always go with the weak side. So I'm gonna go with my left side. I don't necessarily think this is my weak side by any means, 
but definitely this side I could, you know, use the most stability fix here. So here we go, shoulder blades back, hips pop back, let's get active, boom, one, two, last set, last exercise, let's do it. Last four, three, do it with me. Come on, two, don't, don't stop, don't stop. And relax. Wow, that was a good one. Woo. Take a second here. Wow. Now look, I, I know that was a tough workout, whether you were able to handle the full thing or not, you know, I don't know. But what I do know is that if you did the workout, you're feeling what I'm feeling, and that's endorphins, I mean, I can't think of anything that could, you know, make you feel better instantly than a, than a good workout. So, you know, the harder you push yourself, the better you're going to feel in that workout. And those of you who know that, you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, look, I, I do want you to like, I want you to subscribe, I want you to join the Bodhi family. Consider yourself one of my clients, alright? Um, other than that, you have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Let's get through this. Ow! All right, see you next time. Woo!